Hello friends, uh, this is Gaurav. I'm from Parametric Curiosity and uh, today I'm doing a tutorial, uh, a very basic one to just uh, tell you like how to visualize a contoured site for uh, a water flow diagram. So it's a very simple program but yet an effective one with a plugin uh, called Mosquito. You can download this uh, plugin from internet or from grasshopper community so let me start with uh, showing you i have a bunch of contours here and you can see like this is a site uh, with bunch of contours so let us generate first the surface for uh, this contours so you do it by selecting all the contours and then i give a patch command and there are some settings like the sample spacing point uh, the amount of divisions which you want to make and the stiffness and uh, you can uh, you know juggle up this up and down and uh, see the different results so when I start creating it uh, there would be a building su patched surface so we have a surface now and let me get rid of these contours and just hide them for a bit and now you can see like we have a site now with simple grasshopper tools uh, we can definitely see like how water would flow on the site through a very plain visualization of uh, flow lines so to get started uh, let me grab the surface into uh, grasshopper so we take this surface and right click and say set one surface and here we have a surface into grasshopper now these flow lines have to be uh, generated on this surface for that we need points on this surface uh, which would uh, let um, the program calculate slopes from those points so we need to generate a grid of points on this surface for that there is a very simple command called surface points uh, either this command you can use or there is the other one is uh, divide surface that's the another one which we can use so for right now let us uh, go and use uh, divide surface and let me uh, hide the surface now and let me give 50 divisions like uh, u and v values so that uh, you know we can generally visualize better so the more the points the more time it will take but let us take like 50 sample points right now and uh, let me show you like how to do this now when we have points there is this mosquito plugin mosquito plugin uh, you can go uh, and see explore like different options but right now what we are interested in this one this is called the flow and this calculates like slope from from each point it will calculate the slope and see like where uh, it becomes the vector of the flow line becomes equal to the z direction of the other point so it asks you for a surface points resolutions and the number of the calculations per line on the slope and would you like the outcomes as p lines or not so let us keep the resolution to 0.2 for right now and uh, we plug in that and let us keep uh, the calculations per line to maybe 4 just like tweaking the values up in line and we say that these uh, lines which we should get the flow lines should be the p lines like they should be the poly lines now uh, let me visualize the surface and uh, give it a color for giving a color to any geometry there is a command called uh, preview custom preview and it asks you for a shader and a geometry to preview so for the shader command we need a swatch swatch is basically like color you can choose any color from this palette and let me take 
uh, green for right now any any sort of green and we say accept and then we give it to this and then the geometry is the surface and you can see like we have this beautiful um, green surface now and let me just you know uh, hide these points so now we have all set and now we go and we also want you know to color the surface um, curves which will get the like the drain curves and for that we again use this uh, geometry preview and for the flow lines we'll take another swatch and maybe it's uh, something blue because it's demonstrating the water I believe and we can just choose any of the color for right now and you can say accept okay and then we uh, tell the flow command to give us all the poly curves into blue color okay uh, now next is uh, we feed the surface and next we feed these points and the moment you feed the points you can just start to see all these streams you know and when you play up with the values like the resolution if you make it like really large then it becomes little dense and the calculations if you you know uh, decrease these so the length will decrease and if you increase the calculations per slope the length of each curve will increase but uh, now you can just you know see a uh, overall view of where all are the streams water streams and how your site will respond to water in just matter of like a small program and uh, you can also again play with these values to give you different results and then you can just uh, bake these lines into some different layer and you have the baked lines and you have a surface and then you say uh, show surface and you have contours lines and the streamlines so that's pretty much it uh, you can like our video and like our page parametric curiosity if you like the video thank you